All right, so I have an HP laptop here. It's an older one. It is running an AMD Turon 2 dual core. So, you know, it's chugging along, it's doing the best it can, and it only has four gigs of RAM. Okay, so not the greatest machine, but it's doing the job, and that gives you an idea how old it is. It originally had Windows 7 on it, and it was upgraded to Windows 10. Once we got the software and drivers updated as far as they could possibly go, there turned out to be a Windows 10 bug. And that is that when you're using when you're using the ATI PowerPlay settings, which that's just the way it works, because it happens even when this ATI software is not installed, Windows tries to use use their own version, and it does the same. Th that the same problem happens, which is one of the reasons why you need the software installed so that you can come in and manually fix this. Now, the way it is on default is, oh, by the way, I should tell you how to get here. Um, let's do that. Okay. First thing we want to do is, I'm going to cancel this, cancel this. So basically what happens, I'm going to show you what happens, and then I'll show you how to fix it. When the laptop is on power, you know, the power's on right there, you see? Okay, it's plugged in. All right, now, when the laptop goes into battery mode, the ATI software bugs out because something is up with Windows 10, and I've tried every, every way possible to fix it, I've, like numerous ways of fixing it, and then I finally figured out exactly what to do after getting the proper drivers installed. And while this is related to the DV to the DV5 I believe this is also a problem with the DV7 and many and probably many other older HP laptops that are using uh, this this uh, graphics driver okay so I'm going to show you what happens now we're going to we're going to um we're going to go on battery okay Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll let you do it this way. You can see me pull it. All right, so here we go. We're going to pull the plug and go on battery. And this is what will happen. Runtime error with ATI BT Mon. And this happens no matter what I've done with updating drivers, like, this machine is as updated as it, as it could possibly be, and um, this happens no matter what, okay? Until I figured out what to do to fix it. Now, the only way to get that software to come back would be to restart the machine, okay? And so I'll get this in there. Okay, now we're back on power again. Um, we'll do a quick restart. Well, as quick as it can be, as quick as it can be anyways. Okay. Now, I don't want to display that twice because in order to show you the fix, I'd have to restart the machine twice. So if you want to see exactly one more time what the problem is, just back up the video, please. Okay? Because this is kind of a slow machine anyways, and we're doing the best we can here. All right. Now, the way to fix this is the first thing you want to do is go to Power Options. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see that a little better. Hold on. So... Go to the battery icon, right click, power options. Once you're in power options, you'll see this window. What you want to do is click on change plan settings. Okay. 
So change plan settings and after you've done that and you see this page, you want to go down and click on change advanced power settings. And that will bring up power options that are, that are, I don't want to say hidden, but require more clicks to get to, let's say. Okay. So advanced settings. And that's what it looks like at the top there. Now what we want to do, scroll down to the bottom, go to ATI graphics powers, um, ATI graphics power settings. And then ATI power play settings. I almost tried to say both those words at once for a second there. All right. After you've done that, click on that. And then when you're on battery, what you're going to want to do now is change this from maximize battery life to maximize performance. Now, yes, yes, this will end up using more battery. That That is a fact. Um, but it will stop that software from freaking out when you're on um, on battery and your graphics driver software won't have to be terminated. I mean, there's no point in that, right? Okay, so after you've changed that to maximize performance, click OK. And then, you know, close that. Now, you can restart the machine if you'd like. I'm not going to now because I can do that off camera or whatever. But but after you've done that, you'll see here, okay, we're gonna we're gonna pull the plug and go on battery now. All right. There we go. Okay. So now we're on battery. As you see, we're not plugged in anymore. And the software is not freaking out any longer. Okay. Now, the thing about that is, yes, as I said, it will use more. It will use more power from the battery because it's maximizing performance, and it's going to keep the bat. It's going to keep the screen lit for, um, at 100. How you can resolve that problem, though, if you don't want it at 100 all the time, is just manually turn this down here on your own or if you, if you want you can go into settings over here settings and here you will go to system and battery After we get into battery, you can manually just turn it on if you want altogether. It's just plain, just straight out, turn it on. Okay. I plugged back in for a second there, but now we're, now we're unplugged again. All right. So when you're unplugged and you're on battery, you can manually turn this on to automatically. Now, sorry about the flickers. There's nothing I can do about that right now. It's just that the refresh rate has changed on the screen at the moment now you can which as you notice that it, it lowered the screen brightness okay um and you won't see what those that flickering you won't see that in your eyes looking at the screen it's it's the camera here all right let me just turn that back off okay so also by the way i would have warned you i did not know that that flickering was going to happen until it happened anyways what you're going to want to do is come in here and change this it, to always if you want to keep it uh, your um, battery saver on all the time when you go into battery all right oh I didn't mean to do that but as you can see you can turn it on to always or you can set it to turn on at a certain point in time I set it to go turn on at 40% at that's what you're dealing with if you have to adjust that setting but at least that program won't keep popping up when you go into battery mode you're running an older system and you put Windows 10 on it. If you run into that situation when you go on battery, that's how you solve it. And, and perhaps it's not just this graphics driver only, but it seemed to be for with ATI related at, at the very least because it was an ATI program that, that had an issue when we went on battery. Only when it was set into 
of you know mac maximizing battery as opposed to performance okay that's how you fix that situation thank you for watching